Alrighty, so Wonderland has finally dropped their map for the 2019 season. I don't know why I just said map really weirdly there, but I did. Um, but they finally dropped their map for the 2019 season, and it has a lot of golden nuggets hidden in here, as Grace Peacock said on Twitter. And yes, there's definitely a lot of information on here that the drones picked up that I can now put into a better picture. I will say, though, the map is still pretty misleading in terms of locations. The buildings in Frontier Canada are not located on this map. I don't know if the park did that on purpose. I mean, this might not be the final product of the map that's going to be printed at Front Gate, um, but uh, it could be. And the reason we might not see the buildings is that maybe they didn't want to take away from Yukon Striker on the map. If you showcased a building, it might have taken away from Yukon Striker, but I feel like artistically you could have hidden it behind Yukon Striker and made the building a little less noticeable. But yes, there are definitely buildings and things not printed on this map um, in Frontier Canada, and I think that was done on purpose. So we're going to go over a few things. So um, there's a few, several new food venues in Frontier Canada. So Miner's Cafe, located at D6 on the map, will offer international cuisine and delicious protein bowls. Now I wanted to discuss this, because this could go two directions. This could end up being a Chipotle. Um, I would be super excited if it ends up being a Chipotle um, or it could just be a custom Wonderland restaurant and they're going to steal what Chipotle does. Um, but I wouldn't hold out on the Chipotle thing because Protein Bowls has me thinking um, Chipotle. Um, but nonetheless, if it's Wonderland or Chipotle, it's going to be awesome. I think that's a fantastic addition. And for someone like me who's now lost over 60 pounds, I'm super excited for this. This is something I can go grab. Um, at Wonderland and not worry about packing on a bunch of uh, weight uh, overeating. Um, so I'm super excited about that one. I'm actually really thrilled about that one, if you can't tell. Um, you'll also find Asian cuisine at the mess hall. Now, I'm a little confused about mess hall. I'm hoping it ends up being a sit-down indoor restaurant. That's what a mess hall is. A mess hall in Canada is somewhere where soldiers or miners gather to socialize and eat. Um, but... Uh, it could go either way. I have a feeling it might not be. I haven't seen construction of a giant building over in the area that it's located because it's located at E4. So I haven't seen any construction of that. So it might end up being something small. Um, and uh, at Gold Rush Junction, F4, located at F4, you'll be served Coca-Cola beverages and sweet treats like funnel cakes and butter tarts. For those of you in America, butter tarts are a Canadian treat. It's really good. It's a fall treat. So it's going to be super exciting to be able to get butter tarts all year round inside the park. I think those are going to be really popular. And funnel cakes we know are super popular at Wonderland. Um, the Chuck Wagon H3, um, located at H3, will be the stop for hot dogs and farmer sausages. Now, what I think Chuck Wagon's going to be is the medieval fair um, kind of food truck that looks like a wagon. Um, I think that's what they're going to do. I think they're going to take that and move that over to H3 because it already looks like a wagon. It just makes more sense um, over there as well. They already have a hot dog burger um, fry shop right next door at the uh, newly named um, restaurant, which we'll go over very shortly. And then Klondike Outfitters E5 located right underneath um, Yukon Station or right beside it is a new shop located beside Yukon Striker where any adventurer can stock up on Frontier gift items. It's also the home of the newest Fun Picks location with photos forever preserving the moment you conquered Yukon Striker. So that's really exciting. Um, what I find really exciting, I don't know um, if you guys are going to agree with me or not, and hopefully I don't trigger anyone. It's just my opinion. Um, but the grand world of exposition of 1890 is returning to Canada's Wonderland, and it looks like it's taking over half of Action Zone. This is phenomenal. I hate Action Zone. I hated it. Paramount ruined Wonderland with Action Zone. Um, it wasn't themed properly. It took over a beautiful area. I loved the Asian theming and the Mayan theming. Um, the Middle Eastern theming stayed the same over by Extreme Sky Flyer, so I'm happy with that. But Backlot Cafe used to be this gorgeous Asian building, and Paramount ruined it absolutely ruined it. I'm so upset about it. And I really hope Wonderland over the next couple years brings that back because that was beautiful. Um, I'm trying to look if there's anything different over there. I don't see anything. The VR experience from Medfair looks like it's moving over to the grand world of exposition of 1890. It's probably going to go into the arcade area um, somewhere. So that's super exciting. Medfair. So Medieval Fair is getting a huge upgrade. Um, and a lot of you are probably like, Brendan, they're not getting any new ride. It can't be a huge upgrade. 
I'm just pleased. And for me, this screams more is coming to Medfair. It seems like it's going to be a very important part for Canada's Wonderland. Um, so just looking at it very quickly, they renamed a lot of rides. Um, so you have the Canterbury Theatre, um, which is a new name, which is awesome. That's going back to like way back in the day. Uh, you have the the King's Feast. So King's Feast is replacing Thrill Burger. So they're getting rid of that tacky name in Medfair and finally giving it a very medieval name. Um, so that's super awesome. And um, there's a medieval bar. Um, I don't know if that was already there. It might have been. I don't remember it ever being called Medieval Bar. You could correct me in the comment section if I'm incorrect, um, but I don't remember that. But that's super exciting. So um, I definitely think, based off the locations on the map, Chuck's Wagon is going to go under the second Immelman of Yukon Striker. And um, the... What's it called? <laughs> The Miner's Cafe is going to go over by what I think is the new pathway they constructed um, over by Mindbuster and Orbiter. And then you're going to have um, Mess Hall over underneath the Lift Hall area and next Lift Hill area and next to Splashworks. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So very exciting updates. Um, you have the new events tent over in Kingswood. Um, you have all the new names. So you have Vikings Rage now as the um, Rage. It used to be you have names like Wild Beast returning its original name. You have the new Wild Nightmares name for Nightmares. Um, so super exciting. I would like to see a repaint and retheme of Drop Tower to almost like a Rapunzel's Tower, if that makes sense to you to describe it better. Obviously not Rapunzel that doesn't fit into Wonderland. That's a Disney thing. But just a giant medieval tower, paint it with the stonework and have at the top the medieval kind of castle looking topper um, and then get rid of Speed City Way Raceway and maybe replace it with a mock double launch down the road. Who knows? Um, I think once you do that, you're good to go. I would also like to see a rename of Riptide and Shockwave and you're done. But it looks like they fit Shockwave into a whole new area. So um, regardless, I, I think that would complete <laughs> medieval fair and all the nun i'm super excited for the 2019 season um i'll be at the park in about 13 and a half days so super excited for that thank you so much for watching this update don't forget to drop a like subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy thanks so much for watching guys have a good one bye